ATMs have become an important part of everyday life. Just about everyone who has a bank account has an ATM card these days, and that's something that hasn't been lost on the bad guys. Terry joins us with more, and Terry, folks need to be vigilant when it comes to using an ATM. Yes, because ATMs have given robbers another place to get quick cash, yeah. so to speak. When ATMs first came on the scene, users had to just worry about their personal safety, but in this age of modern technology, you now have to be concerned about what happens even if no one accosts you while using the ATM. Three million people a year are victimized using ATMs in this country. Most of those cases involve being robbed of your cash while being physically threatened. The first rule of thumb is don't resist. It's better to give up a little bit of money if you have to than put yourself in physical danger. Which is why it's important to first assess your surroundings when using an ATM. It's best to go to an ATM in a busy area that's well lit. It's even better, says Kilgore, to use a drive-up ATM. Because then you're, you're in the cover of your car, which you should keep locked, and the other window's up, aside from the window that you're doing the business from. And there's a right and wrong way to pull up to that ATM. Avoid pulling up right behind if there's a car ahead of you to allow yourself room to make an easy getaway if something should go on. There are situations where somebody might be stopped at a, ahead of you, and an accomplice may pull in behind you, blocking you in. and further victimizing you. Meantime, there's a growing and disturbing trend. Thieves are now able to get your money and they don't even have to put a gun to your head. They rely on modern technology called skimmers. The skimmers are devices that some criminals have figured out how to cap on to where the card reader is and the skimmer will grab the information from the magnetic strip on your card. When you go to use the ATM, shield the keypad because often accompanying the skimmers is a pinhole camera that the offender may have affixed somewhere else on the face of the ATM that again is very hard to detect. So while the skimmer is grabbing the information from the magnetic strip, the pinhole camera is watching what you're doing. And likely recording your pin number. And like assessing your surroundings to ensure your physical safety, it's also now important to be aware of the ATM itself, especially the older ones. This is one of the newer ATMs, and you can feel right under here that it's all smooth. And this, if there were to be a pinhole camera affixed to it, it would be very hard to look down and onto the keypad. Nevertheless, good idea to get in the practice of shielding your pin as you enter it. One way to make sure your information hasn't been compromised is to keep tabs on your bank account almost on a daily basis to look for any suspicious activity. It's much easier to do these days with online banking that you can even track with your smartphone. Yeah. Now, is it true that entering your PIN number backwards will somehow alert police that you're in trouble at the ATM? Well, that's an urban myth. The okay. Federal Trade Commission did look into the possibility but decided uh, it was not a safe thing to do. And we have a lot more ATM safety tips on our website, WNDU.com. Just click on this story.